Well, the future of food is coming to Yellow County. Molly Reel's getting a, a taste of cell based milk. Say what? Yes, this. Look at this right here. This is called pink gold, and it is the future of milk. Now, this is very high level science, so we're going to try to. Make it understandable for all of us. <laughs> but basically, uh, when you when it comes to milk, there are a lot of health benefits. Arguably, the most important is an ingredient called lactoferrin. When you pasteurize milk, you lose 90% of it, and then when you get to you know the plant-based milk, you don't have lactoferrin. So we are with Turtle Tree uh, in Woodland, which has come up with a, a with a way to uh, recreate or. Create lactoferrin in a lab without the use of animals. <laughs> Fangru, uh, you started this company about four years ago. What inspired you to do it? If you look at the global population, it just keeps increasing. With the next billion people coming onto the planet, we need to think about more innovative ways to continue feeding the population. So when we look at milk, it's just not sustainable. It's not good for the environment. Milk quality is dropping. So we're thinking about. How we can use technology to create the best parts of milk? And that's where we come up with lactoferrin. We call it pink gold because the pink carries the iron part of it, the ferrin. So it helps with iron regulation. It helps with gut support, immune support, tons of great functional benefits. And you're creating. I mean, this is true lactoferrin. This is not a replacement. Uh, this is Vanessa. She is basically the globe's lactoferrin expert, uh, and it all starts here in this lab. Tell us, this is in a petri dish. It does, yes. So this is using the art of what's called precision fermentation. So we take, we, there's no animals involved in this process at all. We start actually with a computer where we find the sequence of the protein that we're interested in making, in this case lactoferrin. We use yeast. This is, uh, might look a little scary on the petri dish, but everyone's familiar with this. This is the same thing you use in making bread or making beer. In fact, we use a very similar process. This is fermentation. So once our scientists engineer this yeast, we bring it into this room, our fancy fermentation vats. Uh, this is a small representation of what we have here where our scientists then put this into these fermentation tanks, add some sugar to them, some nutrients, and uh, through this beautiful art of fermentation, these microbes then produce lactoferrin. And it's all kind of mixed up in this uh, beautiful concoction. And let's take you out. Yeah, well, come out here. And uh, we've got the team out here. Are, are you hiding? Okay, I just want everyone, raise your hand if you have a PhD. Raise your hand if you went to UC Davis. Yeah, that's right. A lot of talent out here. So what happens here? Yep, so these are amazing scientists at work. We, when we're done with this fermentation, we bring it out into this amazing area with our high-tech equipment and purify that high-value protein and turn it pink. Okay, so lactoferrin is about to make its worldwide, or the pink gold at least, uh, Turtle Trees, is about to make its worldwide debut next week in San Francisco, but we get a sneak peek and a sneak taste coming up in the next hour. Eventually, the goal is to create its own milk products and share them with the world as well. Lots of cool things. I don't know if you guys followed <laughs> it. It is very high level science, but it's very cool. And I love that they are bringing in all of these Aggies. That's part of why they are here yeah, right in on. Yolo County, because some smart people yeah. at that school aren't there. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's fascinating. Pink so gold. we're gonna we're gonna get our milk coming up. Okay. okay. Yeah, I, I can't wait to watch you milk a tiny little cell. <laughs> <laughs> Cody. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit, Molly. <laughs> <laughs>